Rain drip dropping everywhere, and even a little fog building up on the windshield around the light. And if you look away for a little while and then look back, we get a completely different arrangement of the water. If we get a heavy water drop, they fall down quicker, and if not, they keep where they are until they combine with another rain drop. Now, when we're talking about water, and we're trying to do a drawing, and maybe the teacher is going like, hey, draw me water. How do you do that? Water is clear. I'm turning in a blank sheet of paper. Here you go. There is your water. All done. But here, in the car, in the dark, in the rain, with the light shining up above, we get a cool opportunity to look at water. And if you look at each raindrop, it can be divided into a combination of white, gray, and black. Or if we're working in monochrome, which we usually do with one color of ink, light, dark, and darker, or white, light, and dark. But overall, my favorite thing about it would probably have to be that the rain is the main focus, and what normally could be viewed from out the windshield can't be viewed, hidden by the shadow and the light. Pretty good for Halloween, too, kind of woo, woo, woo. But that'll be all for now for Drawing Right and Left.